Sagittarius, welcome to your general love reading. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun Moon or Venus sign specific. Any Sagittarius placement that is relevant to you, there may be messages that will resonate. Towards the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. The reading is aimed for February, but time is elusive. If you are drawn to the reading six months from now, that's usually when it's meant to be heard. Personal reading information is linked and listed in the description box. And that's it. We're jumping right in for Sagittarius. Love, romance, energies coming towards them, surrounding them, whoever is on their mind. What do they need to know? What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Messages for their greatest and highest good. Love, romance, energies coming towards them, surrounding them, whoever is on their mind. What do they need to know? Sagittarius. Most important messages. Queen of Wands, your first card out. Fire energy could be dealing with another fire sign. Uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but very much showing up in your energy. Knight of Swords coming right towards you, air sign energy. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Major Arcana, the Chariot, Cancer energy. Cancer could be important to you. The Six of Swords. What else do we have for Sagittarius? Most important messages, please. Love, romance, energies coming towards them, surrounding them, whoever is on their mind. Who heavy hitter, two of cups. Yeah. Air sign energy could be very important to you. They got something to say. They want you. And the Knight of Swords. I don't think that's your energy. There is someone that is all caught up over you. Maybe someone you've moved on from. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles here. Someone's got a lot on their plate. They're juggling. They're trying to decide. Should I? Shouldn't I? Left, right, up, down. Red roses, white roses. Should I tell her I love her? Should I not? Him? Whatever. Or you just got a lot on your plate. But I think there is some sort of decision making that is happening for someone here. Queen of Wands, Six of Swords in your past position. I think you have moved on from a particular situation. You're very much minding your business. Focus on the future here. You can see she's looking directly at the future or she's walking, watching someone walk away. Right? It could also go like this. Someone could absolutely be wanting to move on to calmer waters with you, but it doesn't look like you're very much focused on it. Queen of Wands is someone that is very enticing, very magnetic, knows her power, trusts her intuition, doesn't really need much recognition, but gets it. But that's because that's usually why she already knows she's lit. Male or female does not matter. Very uh, passionate and creative individual as well. So someone's either on their way towards you. It does look like that, though. It looks like it might be someone that you might have uh, moved on from. They kind of want to move things more in, in a more calmer, cooler, co copacetic direction with you. And it does look like, you know, with you because there are multiple people in this card. So if things were rocky with someone, they want to fix it. You have either moved on from this person. This person wants to move forward. Knight of Swords could be a, a, a air sign. I see a lot of air here. Knight of Swords and the Two of Cups in your uh, present position. I think it's like this too, but he's going directly towards this queen of wands he's got something to say very clearly here might not be expecting this or you could be because she look like she's looking directly at him but someone has something to say they're not they're not quite over this they're on their way to you we also have the chariot card here in your future energy so double cards of moving coming getting on the road could be some distance because this is also travel energy Someone might have to travel to see you, but it looks like they'll do it. Very much they'll do it. Three cards of travel, three cards of very much being stuck in their head, thinking, two of cups. Now, if you don't want anybody from your past, this is not your reading, because the two of cups tells me that this is a mutual connection. You very much know your, your, your rights and you've exercised them, but I do think that uh, this is for someone that is still open to whatever this is. 
Two of Cups is a mutual partnership, two people that feel the same about each other. So if there's no one you're feeling, this ain't for you. If there's no one that you're open to, this is not for you. Somebody that you are maybe in some sort of little disagreement with. I don't think it's too heavy, but you are exercising. <laughs> you are flexing your muscle here. You are reminding someone that you do not need them. You want them. So if they're not going to do accordingly, then you really ain't got nothing to talk about. And I think that is, it's making a very clear message to somebody here. Makes It's making it very clear what they need to do. We have the Nine of Swords in your future energy too. So whoever this is that is on their way to you, that is about to make some moves, they're very much not over this. This is like all they think about, especially at nighttime. Over and over and over. You're like, you know, living rent free. Living rent free because it is a mutual connection. We also have two twos here. What's underneath here? Four of Cups. This is telling me that they just are not. It's like life is just not the same without you. They don't want to miss this opportunity. The realization of this being a divine gifted opportunity. There's just no one like you. You just don't compare. You're very magical. You know, very different experience than maybe what they've had before. So <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Things are getting ready to move forward. Fixed sign energy, Leo, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, and Scorpio could be important. But this is fortune favors you. This is get things are getting ready to change for the better. And I also see the four of pentacles underneath there. Yeah, someone's not going to let you go. Two fours, two twos could be significant. Someone's not going to let you go. They're just trying to figure out how to get you back. Because they know they got to go grand. They got to go big. Ten of Cups. And guess what is under the Ten of Cups? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want anybody, this is not for you. Okay? There's some good things about to head your way. Look at this. And I also see the Nine of Cups. Expression of emotion. Someone is about to take action to tell you how they really feel, what it is they really feel. Pour their heart out. All right, let's get the oracles for you, Sagittarius. Very much your pair here, it's very much your match. It's very much someone that compliments you. And the Ten of Cups here tells me this person wants forever. They want this to last, they don't wanna let this go. mine what do we have for Sagittarius please that is too many cards what do we have for Sagittarius but there could be competition for you I'm seeing the um, five of wands underneath the, the strength card over here so this person could have been sort of restraining themselves from reaching out that's why there is a back and forth heart to heart conversations flipped out Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Look at that. Look at that. They like you. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Mm -hmm. Queen of Wands, you know, <laughs> can be a little bit of a brat, but I think that's what, that's what was needed for this situation. Because something wasn't all the way there before. It was kind of rocky. Un unstable so that little bratiness is helping you you know get it to a stable level because you know what you you deserve that's really what it is you know what you deserve and you're not willing to settle but there might be competition for you five of wands but that also could indicate that, that there is some there was some bickering or some not seeing eye to eye between the two of you because you know fire and fire that's spicy I'm saying that's spicy, spicy, spicy dish right there. Got, don't let your past hold you back. So there could be a little bit of pride because I did see the Leo card here. Strength card could also very much be pride. And with the King and Queen of Wands, yeah, you're dealing with someone that's very much like you. So if you're stubborn, they got pride. You got pride. They got pride too. Two very attractive individuals as well. 
king and queen of wands, but pride. There's some sort of pride here that you both need to, this is why a heart to heart conversation is necessary. There is vulnerability that is needed or required here. Don't let your past hold you back. And what do we have for Sagittarius? But y'all love each other. Y'all, you can't tell me different. If you don't love nobody, then as I said, this is not for you. And sometimes when there's that much passion between two people, it you know, it gets like that sometimes. It be like that sometimes. It's like it's like you love them so much, they love you so much, it's like, you know? <laughs> it's like you're annoyed at how much you actually care about each other. It annoys you. Because the Queen of Wands, you know. She'd rather not be in her feelings, but when she's in them, she's in them. She's in them. It takes a special type of person to impress the Queen of Wands. And of course, the King of Wands would, would impress you. Uh, take a look around. You're, you're lucky as shit. Remember that. Yeah. You are. You are. That's a reminder. Okay. Sag, that is your reading. Really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment. See you guys next week.